A huge issue with a lot of people is over risking and over leveraging their accounts on trades. And this usually happens when you start revenge trading a little bit. So in this video, I'm going to give you a brief rundown of how to avoid stuff like that and what your tendencies tend to spiral into. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Artie and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable. Let's not waste any of your time and jump right into trading view. All right, so I've got this general generalized short position put up on my charts right now. I saw a rejection off of here. We came back up a little bit. I set a short position and I'm targeting the lows right here. Not the low of the wick, but the low of the body. Low of the wicks, these are extreme points. I know there's higher volume in the bodies of the wicks, so that's what I'm targeting. I entered in this fake trade at $15,500, a major psychological level or a key bank level. If you don't know about that, watch more videos on this channel. And currently it's at $15,000. 489, meaning that I'm 10 points in profit right now on my imaginary trade. Let's imagine I placed a trade of a 0.1 lot size. My stop loss is 25 points, as you can see right here. If I'm trading an account that gives me 100 contract size, that is a $250 stop loss, or the amount of money I'm willing to risk if it goes against me. Now, let's just say hypothetically the trade goes against me, and it hits my stop loss. But I see another rejection down, and I'm so convinced it's going down, I enter in another short position position keeping my same 25 point stop loss and still targeting the big boy down here. But because I want to make back the loss that I had right here, even though my account balance is now lower because of the original loss previous to this, I increase my lot size. And I think, hey, if I just double it, I'll make all that money back that I just lost and then some because the price is higher and I'm convinced it's going to go down. So your current trade is a 0.20 at 25 point stop loss and you're risking $500. You're getting a little bit edgy, but still kind of in control. Then price goes against you. It hits your stop loss and then immediately rejects down, breaking that previous structure. And you're like, ah, this is the one I should have been waiting for. So what you do is you enter in another trade, you increase your stop loss to be just above the swing high, and you're still targeting that low. You still feel like you're in control of your trading, but it's slipping and you're not, trust me. When you place this trade, you are now trying to make back your pre previous two losses. It is a huge mistake and it's so common. It's almost mindless. You want to get back what you already lost. So now you're going to take a 0.5 lot trade. You've also increased your stop loss to 43 points. So your total risk on this trade is now $2,150, but you're not thinking about that loss. You're thinking about the $7,150 you'll get because you know that you're right. You have completely stopped thinking about your risk and your account balance you're only thinking about this end goal and winning back these first two losing trades. So this is how it plays out. Price starts going in your direction and you're in the best mood ever. You are like, yes, this was the one I'm waiting for. And then you get a monstrous news candle and it blows straight past your stop loss. You are now down $2,900. Now keep in mind that you probably started this entire session out risking 1% per trade. So you have a $25,000 account and you only risked $250 in your first original trade. That's 1% of your account balance of 25,000. But with these three losses, you've lost 11.6 percent of your entire trading account not sticking to your rules not risking one percent per trade and instead of losing three percent as you should have you're now down almost 12 percent and you hate yourself you are in panic mode you want to get this money back you want to have your trading account back to how it was when you started the day you are now emotional and you are going to make emotional bad decisions no emotional decision that i've ever made in my entire life was a good one logic is good emotional not so good. So right there, that should stop you from ever doing what I just explained right here. But what most people do is icing on the cake. This is where either people blow their account or they get to one of those horrible trading days that keeps them out of the markets for the next six months. After you get this news candle up, let's say that that news candle looked something like this. And then the next candle looks something like this. And you see this huge wick right here that perfectly swept some liquidity to the left. 
and you're like, yeah, I knew it. I knew I was being manipulated. That was the rejection point. That's what I should have been waiting for. And you enter in one more trade. Candle closed right here. You figure you give yourself some leeway, maybe a 50 point stop loss, but then you're thinking, wow, that's 274 points to where I originally expected it to go. You don't even think about how much you're risking right now. You just think 50 point stop loss, one lot trade, nice and even, let's go for gold. Because if this trade plays out, you got $27,000 in profit, covering all your losses, making you feel like a baller for the day. You're not thinking about your stop loss. There's no way it's going to hit your stop loss. And then price does that. Now, instead of gaining that $7,150, your account is down $7,900. You've lost 30% of your account in one day. Whereas if you had proper risk management and you only risk 1% per trade and you stayed consistent and you didn't bend your rules whatsoever and you stopped trading after two back-to-back -back losses, you would have only lost 500 bucks today. But instead, you wanted to be emotional, you wanted to not follow your risk rules, and you lost 30%. You argue with your wife, you're mad at your family, you're angry at work, you have this gut-wrenching pain inside your stomach, you're a miserable person to be around because you lost so much money. No, you didn't lose it, you gambled it. This was your fault. Own up to it. Learn from this as a mistake. Be a better trader. But if you want an easy solution and you don't want to have to do any of those calculations by yourself and you want to keep yourself out of those situations, what you can do is use the TTF risk calculator, automatically risking 1% of your account balance, a risk to reward ratio of one to two. When you click a sell order, you can modify your stop loss and your take profit will automatically adjust to a one to two risk to reward ratio. Then all you have to do is hit send order and it will automatically calculate the lot size for you and every single trade that you enter from this day forward will have a stop loss and a take profit in place. And you will always risk the same amount of percentage. If you want this risk calculator, just go to trdfloor.com.